There we go. That works. I didn't back out or nothing. It just works. I like your crystal blue eyes you got there. It's the uh, <laughs> ring light. It's the ring light. And I've got a new whatever. It's still a work in progress. What is that, dude? You got it looks like Serenity. This is uh, um this is we we've had this for years. It's just a wall piece art piece from IKEA. What? Has, it looks no, like it's painted on. No, it's just um like a big I don't know, tarp or I don't know what you call it. But no, it's all good, man. I'm just um trying to still get settled in. I'm moving my desk for the third time or second time. <laughs> yes, I feel you on that. Oh man, this thing is still stiff, dude. I had to take the optic off because I got to get through that thousand rounds and I didn't want to blue lock tight it and then have to take it off and then send it to Monsoon to get ported. So I was like, I'll just keep it off. I got that SRO because I'm an SRO slut sitting over here. Um, but we're going to put it on that new toy when it gets here from our friends over oh boy. Is over it, yonder. Is it going to be cut for it or it takes a plate or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're putting the they're putting the plate so I could put that on there. Um, dope, dope. So they're going to already have it ready to go. They just said you put your own uh, optic on it. Nice. So that's just that's kind of what's in the hopper for you. Just, I got I got a couple things over here. I actually just got some mail today and before we started, so got some base pads for uh the old big boy MMP. Okay. So okay. I actually I was pretty happy so when I bought my MMP, I um which there's a gap in this and I got to fix that. Um uh, Smith and Weston was doing um, rebates, so I bought the MMP and then I got seventy five dollars back on like a Mastercard. So then I just bought plates and then you know, kind of, I had five dollars left over, so I went on Amazon and bought some uh, proper uh, screws, <laughs> some proper screws. Wow! I'll, I'll send you a link. A, I'll send you a link. It's that's actually a pretty affordable. Dig. That's a low dig, bro. It, low dig. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was only five bucks, and then I got like ten, ten of them, so five pairs. All right. So I'll send you the link. I don't know if they're the right length, but I know they're the right like size. It's right. just, it, and it has multiple lengths, but it's not a prime option. So you know, you have to look at that. But right. I got Fine. that. Um, and then what else did I get in the mail? Uh, what, what else did I get? In the mail? I got that, and I got um the screws. Oh, and then uh, since we last talked. What up? This came in the mail. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is that is that what I think it is? So this is a flux raider. That's awesome. For the P three twenty. So um if anyone hasn't seen it, it's basically a three twenty chassis. You um I'm like the sneaker heads, I still have all the tags on it. <laughs> 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 um but you basically put your three twenty FCU in here. And then uh, you have to have a, a full size upper, which I don't have of, of a compact. So I'll, have to go, I'll probably go to Brown Ellis and get a full size barrel and slide and um, guide rod. Um, and then it'll run that basically. Yeah, yeah. What's, so it's really cool. It's got like a, a mount here so you can put your optic on there. Yeah. You have to get like a, a pick rail attachment. Um, it holds two magazines. And what's really cool that I like are two cool things. One is that you can shoot it like this. Did it come you want come it to? With those magazines? No, no. You need to buy your own. Okay, okay. But if you have a full size, you probably have them. I don't. These are compact mags, so the flush mag <laughs> doesn't fit that well. But what's cool is you can you know shoot it real tiny, or you have this little lever here, and I'll back up, and then you can kind of. That's crazy, dude. So it's a true backpack gun. Um, and I'll make a video about all this. I mean, they've been out for a couple of years yeah. now, but um, what's also really cool is you see like the mag release right there. So it's kind of smart. You have an index mag release here versus um, you can press that and the back one comes out or it has this little lever here. I don't know if you can see right there. Yeah, yeah. You push this lever in, it'll actually kick both of them out. So let's say you're empty here and you want this guy to come out. You actually like push it forward with your thumb yeah and that comes out and the back one drops out too at the same time yeah so i'll do it on on camera just so i can oh hold on let me. there we go that's in there 
I'll do a yo-yo big bang here in a second. <laughs> so you could you could do that, which is pretty cool. That is cool. Um, and then what's interesting is that the slide ends here. So this space is open for a comp. Um, I don't know if this will fit. I'm going to test it out. It may not fit in this space, but I might get a comp if it doesn't fit. Well, but, the comp wants the barrel because the barrel will angle up slightly upwards as it the slide locks back. It that might. Give it, it might. It's cut down. It's beveled down a little bit. Yeah. In that cha in that chamber. If any, um, so it's when it recoils back down, but it shouldn't be enough to like cause any damage. So I'll have to see. I'll play with it, but I got to get bigger mags. I mean, this is a, a totally new build, minus the FCU, which is really cool. But yeah. I'll go to Brownells and uh, pick up the uppers and lowers, and they got they got um, slides and stuff that Brownells makes, which is really good. But it's cool because this uh, brace is like righty specific. So okay. like when it's in your arm, it like curves uh, to that side. Uh, oh, that's nifty. And it's yeah. got, um, let's see what else has it got. It's got a cutie point there. Huh. And it's got a, a cutie point um, somewhere else. I, 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 did, like, I literally was just messing with it. I feel like I wouldn't even cutie that, especially no. if it's a. Uh, oh, I wouldn't. Backpack. It'd be it would be like a backpack piece, and that's it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, exactly. But yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I picked this up uh, <laughs> right, in last so week. Right. It came in really quickly, really quickly. Yeah. Are you um, at the, the chat? The chatter. Everybody's talking. Everybody's right talking. Right okay. Right. That's where you put your weed in? Oh my I God. don't smoke. Weed, so it's not <laughs> something I would mention. Um, Disregard that. Righty. Um, okay. German perfection. Nope. <laughs> I don't do that. Um, but the last thing that I've got going on is actually I was, I'm not finished, but I was almost at the finishing pro finishing cuts of editing the video, reviewing my new little Glock spiel. Glock Thank and spiel. Just, what do we call so, What are you calling that? It's I don't just, know. I mean, you literally put a whole whole bunch of parts together on it is like i wonder if this will run <laughs> it runs the only thing i haven't done is the trigger so this is um i don't want to call it a dagger because it's only got a dagger upper and the lower is not dagger um so i don't know i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna probably just call it something that yeah. i like like silver surfer or something i don't know something lame like that yeah. um but so it's cool. not a glock because it runs really good and um, <laughs> for the people that actually are watching this now, you'll get a little preview. This grip is from Grit Grips. You see that ledge, dude? Yeah. It's on both sides. Super, super smart. And then you see you said it the texture. It fits in a standard Glock 19 yep, it holster? It fits in a Glock 19 holster. It fits in um, our, our uh, Shadow Systems holsters. Like, there's no yep. change. I just If you look at the grip module or the the grip itself it's very similarly cut yeah and i yeah, mentioned all this in the video um what what i really really like and i know we like the shadow lowers look how high up that texture goes yeah. dude yeah i do like that i do like that so it's like i mean it, it 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 bites it bites and what's interesting is that the texture is different depending on the direction in which it's facing because the back texture yeah is different different directions I would get one of those if it wasn't for the fact that it's a Gen 3 and I own no Gen 3 stuff. That's unfortunate. I let don't me, buy Gen 3 let me stuff. Let me see the front of it, though. Maybe, maybe, let me see the nose. Can I cut the outside to get a Gen 4? Uh, quite possible. I don't know if there's enough material around it. Maybe. 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 The, well, Gen 4 is the mag release. What is that, 150? Less. Less, like, it's like 100 bucks, if not less. Mm, do I want to spend a hundred bucks to test it? Uh, looks at his uh, mounting like plate that. for his SIG, which is close to a hundred bucks. I, I um, let, let me shoot it, and then I'll let you test it out on a rage day, and you'll see. I, I've, I've said this already. If you can't get the shadow lowers, which is what we run, yeah. this is what I would pick, because I wouldn't get the other stuff that I've seen out there, Lone Wolf and P80. All those other ones need specific holsters. This doesn't. This just, I mean, dude, you know how important it is to just have something go in an existing holster. Yeah. And I'm like, I mean, in easily, no problem. So the video for this is coming out tomorrow. I'm, I'm finishing up the editing tonight. I'm on just the last few bits of it. Um, okay. It's a little, little lengthy, but it's, you know, it's got the cool.
cool new ports. I recently did the polish myself. Um, the optic from Gideon is sweet. Use my code JWEV, um, saves you some money. And yeah, it uh, it's it's really solid, dude. Um, I'm, so here, I'm here that's, for it. Man. That's Come. what I've been working on. And then I haven't found, I have lost all my knives lately, so I've been using this little guy to. <laughs> It's like a so, freaking if you guys like knives or no knives or you want to send me a knife hit me up because i have lost most of my pocket knives anyway so what are we talking about today so today we are going to jump into uh indoor drills and range okay. range day prep now we have a lot of people that are listening right now that um they've been shooting for quite some time so i don't know if this would pertain to those folks but i think for newer shooters or depending on the location in which you are given um, or provided where you can only shoot indoors and you can only shoot in a lane. Yeah. Um, there's a ton of YouTube videos on there by great shooters. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, Josh and I are gonna talk about like kind of what drills I do when I go to indoor ranges. I kind of, I, I leave it to three simple drills for the most part. Yeah. Obviously you guys know I love build drills uh, there's a reason for that. Um, it's not a bill drill if it's more than six. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just love dumping, man. I love dumping until I'm like, yeah, that was satisfying. So if it's six, it's six. If it's seven, it's seven. If it's eight, it's eight. Now, what upsets me when I do that is if I go outside of the A zone when I'm ripping a session. So if I go outside of the A That's zone, a good point. lock it in. Um, anybody can rip shots fast. I can rip shots stupid fast if I want to. Yep. I can make a Fred Pratt and crazy if I want to, but the goal is to rip them fast and to rip them nice and tight. Um, so when you guys do see me do build drills, uh, notoriously do build drills, the goal for me is to hit alphas. That's the reason why I run build drills, not just to rip a gun fast. Anybody can do that. Yeah, so, I was gonna say let's 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 sometimes we have to put qualifiers yeah. when we when we say what we're doing. Yeah. Is that um, uh, for us when? Okay, one second. I'm gonna take my filter off. <laughs> Okay, so if you are the type of person that just wants to dump ammo into a berm or just shoot the hell out of your gun because you got money to blow and spend. Yeah. Do cool. it. Man. Cool. Hey. Do it. That's not what we're trying to do here. What we're trying to do is be fast and effective because at the end of the day, you go back to your training level. So if you're not training for effective shots and you're just out there doing a build as fast as you can and you see a lot of Charlies and Deltas and some mics, you're just shooting for the sake of shooting, and that's fine. Yeah. I sometimes shoot for the sake of shooting to test out malfunctions or gear, but when I'm actually, and like you mentioned, when it's build drill time, it's to clamp down and see that sight and make sure it's reciprocating. And I've seen, um, and a few guys here, um, I know I know John is in is yeah. watching. Um, a few guys here talk about like getting cameras and stuff to watch yourself. I recently yeah. noticed, and good thing I have a gun here. That's why we're doing the Instagram. <laughs> um, I just I shot a build drill recently, and I and I had the camera facing that way so I could see the target and i noticed my support hand started to come off a little bit towards the last few shots and you said hey uh good shooting but did you notice your hand started to like open up just a little bit you know yeah. so if i'm on camera here uh yeah so my hands were coming out like that not that aggressive but it was like here and then i started seeing it open up yeah. so just just so everybody knows when we're talking about shooting a bill drill the, the key point is drill we're not just spraying and praying you know this isn't call of duty you yep. know this is real life stuff so we're trying to be effective but if you want to just you know shoot a gun look off camera and just bang really fast cool have fun more power to you sure. yeah blow man. that money <laughs> i definitely i definitely in this call i definitely don't want to you know go and jump on people about how they shoot you know, do what you guys no. want to do i think for me and and the guys um yeah, effective efficiency is the biggest thing for me um like I said, for for us specifically, the squad drills guys, there's no fake stuff going on here. Like, no. if I rip a build drill and I put it on video, there's no edits. I go straight into what you guys see. I grab my camera, I show you the hits. Um, that's a big thing for the squad drills guys is we show hits, um, which sometimes separates people from you know uh, other groups of folks. Either yeah. way, you can show hits or not show hits. We like to show our hits. We like to show you when we make mistakes. Um, and that's just it, man. But I definitely want to stay the course on this conversation. Yeah. Um, 
and say that when I go to the range, uh, I try to prep like you. Uh, one of the biggest things that I like to bring when I go to the range is a notepad. I bring one of these. I open that thing up and I rip a page out. I take that page and I paste it on an A zone. And when I'm at the range, that's where I'm hitting is that A zone. Uh, when I want to get frosty and I want to hit the T box or the face shot or whatever you want to call it, um, I'll rip that paper in half. I'll put it in the head and that'll be my head box. Yeah. So that's pretty much what I train with okay. um, as far as efficiency concerns. If I can hit it on a paper, then I'm all gravy with that. Can I put it in a tight group? Yeah. I can tighten up the group when I shoot super slow, um, but I, I definitely want to jump and talk into that uh, as well. So when you when you say you prep, uh, when you someone asked me last week because they saw we were a squad and we get together, and they asked when you go to the range, do you kind of have an idea of what your objective is or what your drills are going to be for the day? Now I know when I go by myself, sometimes I can deviate because you know you just want to go through the ammo or you're you find something that's like a problem. But let's just let's just in this scenario say the gun's already been proven. You know it works. You've tested it. You're just going to an indoor range. Yep. Do you have a set, you know, specific, you know, couple drills that you're like, I'm doing these drills specifically and in what yeah. order? Yeah. So uh, kind of like any other sport where you practice, um, you don't see baseball players going out there and just start ripping home runs, right? They, they work on up close or, or I'm sorry, not ripping home runs. Change that. You don't see baseball players throwing bombs, uh, catches to each other. They warm up close, yep. close, close, and then they start opening up. Yeah, my son and I do that. that. We we do a, if you catch it, take a step exactly. back. Catch it, take a step exactly. back. If you drop it, we move back in. And then it's a reward to throw further. Yep. So I'm keep going. Yeah, yeah. So I do that. Um, for me, based off of my skill set, uh, when I walk into the range, I pull my gun out. It's already loaded, right? And uh, generally, I check, press check one more time, put it in the holster. Luckily enough, I'm at a range where it allows me to do holster work. I'll come out the holster right out the gate with my uh, carry ammo, and I'll punch out five. Sometimes I'll dump the first five with the carry ammo or six, whatever you want to do, and I'll punch out, and I'll just send it right out the gate. For me, that sets the tone for my training session. It lets me know, all right, I just walked into this range, cold as ice, Rip the build drill, hit all alphas. Yep. That starts my range session. Now, if I miss it or if I get one, one shot outside, then I know, all right, I need to start focusing on X, Y, and Z. For me, build drills gives me a lot of feedback in a very, very short amount of time. Um, I think um, from there, then I start, I, I work it back in because you know your build drill is your seven yard standard. I bring, I do two yards. And I do Mozambic drill. Uh, two of the body, one of the head. Two of the body, one of the head. Two of the body, one of the head. Every single time, it's from concealment. So every single time, it's a rep until I run the magazine dry. Um, what's your goal, be my first goal with that? With the, what, what are you trying to accomplish? What are you looking for? I'm, so for me, I'm working on my eye movement. Because I'm in an indoor range, I don't get a lot of vertical viewing. Um, uh, or was it vertical? Horizontal. Vertical. Uh, lateral, yeah. yeah. I don't get a lot of lateral, so I can't do a lot of panning, you know, your yeah. 90, full 90 or your 180s. So what I have to do to train my eyes is I have to work down, up and down, up and down. So I will do that so that I train my eyes to, you know, punch out the center, hit the head, punch out the center, hit the head. So in the event it's close within that three yards, that's what I'm working on. Mm -hmm. Then I put it out to five yards. I work on uh, triple tap to the body, and I work on one to the head. Again, from rep, beep, off the buzzer, triple tap, one to the head, beep, triple tap, one to the head till I run empty. Then I push it out to seven. At seven yards, I run those build drills again. I'll run double build drills back to back. Once I feel comfortable with that, I'll push it out to 10 yards. At 10 yards, I'm still trying to maintain a build drill, but I'm doing my cadence is slightly slower. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I still want to make sure those hits are consistent. Yeah. Draw still fast. Draw yeah. still fast, and I take the shot out. Now, if I come yeah. out fast, and generally, um, because we're doing so many reps from concealment, it's very rare that I make a error when I'm coming out from concealment. But if I do make an error, I still punch out the shot. Yeah, yeah. 
make that up. So that's pretty much what I do for indoor range time. Um, if I'm not testing out guns, so for example, when I go to the range uh, for the first time with this bad boy, uh, I'm bringing a thousand rounds and I'm gonna try to get through a thousand rounds as quickly as possible. One, because I wanna break this in. I wanna make sure that it functions because everybody's having problems with it. Two, I wanna break it in and I wanna get it over to Monsoon so he can port it and I need to yeah. break it. <laughs> so generally, I would not run my gun in that fashion. Yeah. But for this instance, because I need to get it out to a couple of different uh, shops, I'm just gonna run shots. I'm not gonna do any drills. I might put it at five yards and just rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, reload, rip it, rip it, rip it, reload, rip it, rip it, rip it, and just try to get through the ammo as quickly as possible to break the gun in. So, sorry, that's kind of long-winded. No, that's okay. At, at the end of my session, if I'm in there for a full hour, then at the very, very end, you've been with me. Even Black Arms has been with me. Where do we do at the very end? We do our cool down drills. We send push, it we send it all the way back, back to the 25 yep. yard from the buzzer. That's, that's kind of been a thing we've done since we started shooting um, when we shot outdoors is that we were like, how far can we take a shot with our pistol? You know, and I think we got to like a hundred, you know, outdoors and it was just, Start at 25, okay, take some steps back. It was just single shots just to see if you can, you know, do side over bore and if the gun functions and our guns are ported, so if it can handle the distance. Yeah. Um, those aren't, you know, realistic shots. Heck, those aren't shots you take in competition. I think the furthest I've seen competition maybe is 25, 30 yards, but, yeah. you know, those are slower shots and those are risky shots. Yeah. That sounds good, man. I think the only difference I have is um, I'm still working on my speed and consistency on my draw and – and breaking down distance of shot doesn't affect speed of draw. So my first thing is always just single shot, single shot, single shot as fast as possible and, and not messing up and, and making sure it's clean and effective. Um, and then I start adding rounds to it, you know. So I think about it like when I used to, uh, and, and I haven't in a while, but when I used to do basketball, the first thing I would do is do a bunch of just up close underneath the key quick shots almost like a layup but not moving just some shot and then i'd go back and forth to the corners and then i go further back knock out some free throws hit some three pointers then i start moving jumping and shooting so i think when people ask if you have a plan i think you want to get into a flow of what you're trying to do to kind of get a, a cadence the other thing is is that sometimes i go backwards yeah. just to kind of switch it up because i don't want to get lulled into a false sense of um routine so sometimes i'll say you know what let me go fast like you say you just throw a bill real fast just to see where you're at for the day and that also might change but that's good man i think that's good i have the fun question for you what you got so <laughs> it's timely you oh. don't have to give an explanation before you jump into that remember that yep. uh, i also do uh somebody pointed out oh double taps i think it was black arm said double taps i will take two of these pieces of paper out of here uh, I'll put them, if I can get it on the target, I put them side by side and I'll press out, I'll double tap and transition, double tap, transition, double tap, transition, double tap. And I'll keep doing that until I run the gun dry. Um, I'll reload it and I'll do it again. And what that does is after you keep double tapping, just like you guys do at the competition world, I'm going to speak on behalf of that, even though I don't compete. Uh, but you double tap so many targets, eventually you'll see if that trigger dexterity breaks down after you're double tapping so much so when you run through that first magazine of double tap double tap double tap double tap reload double tap double tap double tap double tap and keep those shots on that piece of paper at whatever the varying distances you are it helps with that transition of looking and looking and looking that's why when we go out to the range and we're shooting with the guys that shoot competitions it takes a very very little time to get used to just the dynamic of all right let me look for the next target all right yeah. let me look for the target we're training ourselves even though we're not moving yeah um but you're training your eyes to do what your eyes need to do your body mechanics will do what your body mechanics need to do your reloads all that stuff stays the same so yeah you don't it's, lose your pace it just takes you just a slightly little bit of time just to get acclimated to moving and shooting that's that's it yeah but I was gonna say, I think it's funny when I do that, my target looks like I'm a bad shooter when I pull it down because <laughs> I'll be in the bay with a lot of newcomers yeah. and they're shooting and it's, you know, they're going for the bullseye every time. And yeah. 
that's that's great you want to be centered they see me and it's like left right left right 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 left 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 and it's like well i i sometimes just sharpie you know a, a two inch circle or a three inch yeah. circle and i'm and i'm hitting my shots and then the center is not even touched <laughs> and they're like this guy sucks yeah. it's like no no this I, guy's hitting he hit things he called out on purpose and so i think that's always just something to point out is don't get just i get distracted sometimes by seeing other people next to me and i try not to but i focus in on it as much as possible yeah that's a good that, that's a good that I, I actually like that um i don't and i see a lot of people you know slow fire um I, again i'm not knocking sure. anybody do your own drills um i'm particularly stay away from slow firing with tight groups i personally don't think it helps but i could be wrong i again i'm not a good shooter uh it just does not make sense to me to slow fire a tight group like if i'm like bang 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 at five yards and my group is like this uh okay at the end mm, your group's probably tighter than that but yeah, I think that's 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 qualifying for a carry, right? Yeah. That's that's typically what it is. You can qualify to carry, cool. You know how to shoot down range. Yeah. But yeah, it, I think that there's something to be said about taking effective shots on target and you know, we think effective is not necessarily touching and, and stacking. Yeah. It's effective in critical areas like we learned from Kevin Dixie and his training, that it's it's better to have a couple shots all over the chest than a bunch tight because it makes it difficult to seal up and some, the, the assailant is now, you know, have a, have a harder time patch themselves up and then responding yeah. versus a bunch of shots target, you know, stacked. And it's like, okay, let me just put pressure here and keep, you know, taking fire on you. Yeah. Cause we're thinking, you know, both competitively, but also tactically, you know, from a, a real world scenario. So that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what the, well, actually that's just another session for another day are the outdoor yeah. But I, the one drill that I have really, really uh, respect, and there's a lot of them, but that freaking playing card drill that Gamage introduced us to, oh, yeah. where, you know, you don't know your card. Sometimes you got to turn and shoot or whatever yep. the case is. Uh, you pick a card or somebody else. Yeah, so it's the, he calls it the roller decks. Yeah. You want me to explain it? So, I so but... love that drill, man. Like, it's yeah. precise speed and you don't know how many your number you got to yep. shoot you don't know if you got to load yeah and yeah it's also a mental thing as well so um i think so uh so if anyone's curious what it is basically you get a deck of cards you have um you can do it yourself but it's a, there's less um surprise factor to it you typically have a buddy with you and what you do is you pick a card at random you don't look at it that person then hangs it up on the target your back is to the target so you can't see what it is and then depending on what the target is determines what your course of fire is so if it's a face card or it's a 10 to ace i believe it's two reload two and yep. then if it is not that then it is that many rounds you have to take so you can get up to nine rounds yep that you have to take. Yeah. Um, and the, the goal is to hit all of them on the cards. So now we're talking about a playing card. I believe it's seven yards is what we're doing it at, yeah. maybe five. I'm not yeah. sure. But, um, you know, the goal is to have your back to the target and my microphone should work <laughs> and on the buzzer, turn safely, draw, and then mentally see what that says. And now you have to do what that says. And a lot of, I have been the one that's like, bang, bang, two, oh, reload. Okay, so that delay affected yeah. my time you, you know i've seen people take the shots nice and slow yeah okay if that's how you want to be effective great but um yeah a very simple thing you could do a ton of them because you have a ton of cards um yeah. it's a nice challenge with your friends we do it cold just to kind of yeah. kick the dust off yeah yeah staple them staple them on your target and your indoor range and have your buddy over your shoulder call out a number or a spade or you know hearts oh, yeah. or whatever that that's the other drill. That's where you just have multiple cards out there and you have to, you know, you don't know which one you're going to shoot yep. at. So at the end of the drill, you can't have your back to the target necessarily, but maybe you close your eyes or something and they say, okay, on the buzzer, um, I'm going to say what it is and hit the buzzer. So maybe close your eyes, yeah. just kind of modify for indoor and, uh, you know, you say, okay, you're going to hit the four spades, beep. And then you look for the four spades and then you do, you know, four of them. Again, if it's a face card, you have to do two reload two. 
if it's a you know uh two through nine then you gotta do that many rounds yeah so uh yeah it's a it's a fun drill it keeps you guessing i think that's the other thing is that you, you don't want to get too much into repetition yeah. because yeah, yeah this you think real world scenarios is going to be dynamic so you have to be able to think on your feet now um and it's it's a fun way to just in inject adrenaline now let me pick your brain about this right because we're talking indoor and again I, I stated early on that we had the luxury of doing from holster how would you modify those drills um like low, a, ready. low ready would you do a compress like from compress, uh, press punch out um I think so. I think the the thing I would I would say is that you'd have to still be indexed just for safety perspective. Yeah. Um, you'd have to be indexed off of this. So if you're comp if you're compressed ready, you still have your finger off because you haven't made your full grip yet. And yep. then as you master your grip, you get your finger in the trigger guard. Yep. That's what I would do. Um, low ready, I seem I feel like sometimes is like the next level to getting to being on presentation. It's easier and you can prep your trigger. Yeah. So I think depending on what your range allows you to do. So again, get get clearance to do that. I think that's the biggest thing. The reason why we can draw from holster is because we have clearance to do that from our range. We've, I've, I've personally had three RSOs vet me because each one was different. They're like, I haven't seen you draw. I'm like, oh my God, okay, watch me draw nice and slow. Okay, <laughs> this guy seen me, this guy seen me. Anyone else work here? New employee, come over here, watch me do my draw or watch my videos. Um, but yeah, yeah, you know, cause, cause you know, you want to be safe and you don't want also people to think that the person next to you says, Oh, I can do yeah. that when you can't, you have to get vetted, you know, and, yeah. and every range is different. Some ranges won't let you do that. That's yeah. fine. It's just their policy. Cause they don't want to have any, you know, edge cases or people thinking they can take exception to the rule. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's good. I was going to say that the other thing that's really cool, just as a non-standard drill, mm -hmm. um, uh, places like West Army have drills built into their system where yeah, you can get the target to spin around and move back and forth it, it's like playing playing uh, pop shot basketball you know at the arcade where it moves different distances and heights and stuff so if you have that cool i've heard something insane that there are a couple ranges that have that in florida and they lock that down as a premium membership what? that you have to pay extra to do that and west armory said no 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 we're letting you access it completely so um, Sarge and his folks there, they train people on that. Um, and it's a cool way to kind of show them dynamic movement, even with the target staying still, um, you staying still in the target moving. So that's, that's pretty cool too. Um, some of them say things like you have to do triples, you have to do, um, you know, six or reloads. They, they kind of set the course of fire, but if you can't do that, um, or if you go to an outdoor range, that's static based stuff. Cause what Ruskin has that too, um, at Guncraft, they have just static based yeah. stuff. We can still do the stuff that we're talking about as long as they allow rapid fire. Not all places do, but, um, but no, I'm, I'm ready to get some people on here, but let me ask my, my fun question for you. Yeah. Hit me. You've been watching the Olympics. Uh, yes. Uh, no, I'm lying. Okay, fine. <laughs> Very patriotic of you. Watching uh, highlights. Okay, same. Uh, if you with if you were to be an, an Olympic athlete, what sport would you want to be in? Gym. Or do you think you'd do well in? Gymnast. I was a gymnast before. Gymnast before? before. Gymnast, yeah. Anything specifically? Uh, well, as, as a gymnast, you have to participate in all of the uh, events. So, palm horse, vault floor uh high bar um did i get everything uh, i think that's everything uh, uh, whatever those uh, rings are you're like holding on for dear life yeah rings parallel mm -hmm. bar you have to compete in all of those as a gymnast on yeah or team and they take all your points put them all together but, they put all your teams but so the, in the olympics you um they actually have specialists like there's like there's a dude that's been pretty famous he's like He's known to being like in the top 1% in Rocket League, which is pretty cool. But all he did is he did pommel horse. That's all he they, they flew him over there for. So he, so is there one specific event you'd want to do or you think you'd do good at? Uh, I was actually, again, going back to the that previous statement, um, vault was my sport. So uh, when I competed so that's pretty long time. You jump on a thing, put your hands on, a, on the a, pad and do a flip and land. Do a flip. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I came in... Uh, First in uh, the mid, was it Midwest is what they call it. Um, I competed, where were we? I think we were in Ohio, Ohio, I think it was. Hmm. No, not right. 
I forget where I was, but we were competing with uh, six other states. It was a state. It was a region-wide competition. I came first on vault. So, yeah, vault was my thing, dude. That was my jam, yo. And what's interesting is that we've been friends for so long. I didn't know that. Are you serious? I knew you were flexible. I know you can do flips <laughs> and shit, but I didn't know that you did vault. That's pretty cool. And that's how, that's where, uh, honestly, that's where I got my balance from. Mm. Um, thinner balance type deal, like being able to do the silliness that we do, like the jump shooting at 10 yards and jumping over cones and doing back handsprings. I'll, I'll post a back handspring video. Um, uh, An old later. one, not a new one, right? You're not going to do one now. It'll be an old one. Dude, I was doing back handsprings at people's weddings for the longest. Remember? Yeah, I do. In a full suit. So at the one that I had to stop at was the one I almost slammed my face into the concrete. I was like, yep, that's the last one for me. Close call. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. Fair. Yep. Fair. Let's go. Cool. Very cool, man. What about you? Oh, wait. You have to go through the spills. So what's your indoor prep? We didn't get through. No, so I, I said, I think I do a lot of the same stuff as you. Um, I think my main thing is single cadence. I, I I just do a lot of draw stuff, and then I just add more rounds to it. Okay. Um, uh, I've, I did reload work in the garage last night, and I need to do more reload work because I am just dog shit with it. Um, not good at all. So I think, yeah, speaking of dog. Um, so I think that uh, I do a lot of the same that you do. I think that I don't do Mozambique as much, and I don't do the two paper thing. And I think I might incorporate that more because once I do a couple of draws, quick, 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 I tend to ramp it up and then ramp it down and then I'm done. But I'm also usually testing out guns and products. So I'm not always just training for my skills. Yeah. So you give me some ideas and some things. I also like to use the, the little toys that West Army has with the different drills. Yeah. Um, yeah. They've got uh, one that's like a charging drill yeah. where it starts at the furthest back and then it charges at you. And I kind of wait for it to come at like 15. So I have to draw faster versus just draw at like 20 and hit long shots. Yep. So I'll draw at like 15 yards as it's charging at you and I'll throw six at it and then I'll do a quick tactical reload. It'll set another one. I do that one and I do the advanced pistol, which is at various distances, it spins the target and it's a shoot, no shoot, because you can't shoot targets in the back, otherwise you'll catch a charge. So, um, and it's three. And the difference with advanced and other levels is the delay time that you have to shoot. So at lower levels, it stays facing you longer. At advanced levels, it's very short. So, and I do everything from concealment as if it was a real life situation, as if a, a threat turns its back and looks at me, and I'm like, and I just throw three straight yep. at it and then yep. it changes and it spins around and makes you guess and all these things so i do a lot of that i think that we're very fortunate that west army has that stuff so shout out to sarge and the west army folks for making that a possibility for us yeah. um, but you give me some ideas actually which is some stuff that you know we don't we don't pre-prep usually on these calls we have a couple topics but you know you never know what might learn so i learned two things i learned some some things that, that i could do at the range from you and i learned that you used to be a vault guy so i'm uh, <laughs> Yeah. I'm about it. My Olympic sport, um, well, it's definitely not anything running because <laughs> not, I'm not the – I'm I'm quick, but, you know, yeah. you know I am. I'm, I'm pretty stout. Um, actually, in sixth grade, so we're really going back, um, I did shot put. Um, really? Okay. I did. I did. Um, I feel like the way I train and the way I'm built now, if I put enough time in it, I could be okay at it. And then – do proper training and plus you get to do like a spin yeah. and a grunt you know and put that put that joint right there by your jaw and just <laughs> you know. that. so, yeah that's gonna be great on audio but that range session <laughs> shot put shot put. you gotta yeah. do that spin too oh, and God. then deploy out or deploy out yeah you gotta do the little <laughs> keep rotating and then deploy out on that oh i'm on my chair here you go and then oh, yeah. ah. <laughs> no that's 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 what i would do i mean i thought about all the other the little things like uh i i was gonna also qualify so if you do participate in this question you can't say any of the shooting sports you can't say you go shoot clays or you do the air pistol with the arm you can't do any of the shooting stuff because it's a gun stuff <laughs> um you can't do any shooting sports um i thought about like table tennis but no i couldn't i did i would do shot for it i stopped. lift something throw something far i love it <laughs> All right, what up, No Chili? What are you rolling your eyes for? Yo, boy's funny. 
<laughs> we're talking. We're what your Patreon. Yeah, what is your go-to indoor drill and uh, range prep? Did you even shoot to the range? I not don't. Recently. Not recently. No. no I haven't, last time I went was July. Yeah, July. Uh, I don't feel so, so bad. I haven't been in the range in a while either. But I've been dry firing at home though, so I mean, nice. huh? I said. Josh was there before I was. It's been a minute. As but but I went there to test product. I didn't dare to train. Oh, okay. I mean, I did get to shoot and feel <laughs> that sensation and, you know. Um, no, so, so uh, the drill, mostly do build drill just to get used to, like, hand, um, prep when it comes to presenting, especially with a smaller optic. I'm still working on that. Um, uh, grip pressure as, as a whole. Uh, like that'd be like my, I don't say my starter, probably like my second go, but my first would be like doubles just to see like, like where I'm hitting at. Yeah. So cause my range, we can't do out the holster it has to be, uh, compressed ready and whatnot. So we can't, so we can't draw the holster. Yeah. So, um, um, basically I just, I'm going to do like a VTAC, like a VTAC paper target or mm -hmm. probably do like a, um, like the, the A zone, like the, the, the the USB, the was it the Ipstick targets or whatever yep, they're called, yep. like the the cardboard body targets. Yep. So, I don't I don't really flip flop between those two, but mostly I normally do um the V tac V tac if anything for the most part. But uh, but I, I normally kind of like finagle stuff in between there, like work on reloads or like do like like three reload four, two reload one, run reload three. You know, like try, you know, like try to keep it. Like fluid, like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, 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 it just to work on reaction or whatnot, just to see like what I can do. Like, I know I'm not in a under stress scenario, of course, but I try to push. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you, but um, I I got a question to that then. Yeah. Uh, that was a great statement, by the way, about saying you know I'm not under distress. I, I my body is not of high energy or whatever the case is. Mm -hmm. Do you bring a shot timer with you? Actually, yes. Okay. So after my first, after my first, like the first time, like the first time I used was back in July. So that was like I was like just seeing where I was at, and I got videos posted on my page too. Um, and I got more that I recorded just to, just to film myself to see like how the pistol is doing, how my hand is, right. like how like trigger prep, all the stuff. I'm like real like analytical when it comes to like recording myself and then viewing myself because yeah. I've done a lot of like. Just to back off, but like try to, I do a lot of edited MMA back when I was growing up, and I was recording myself just to see, like, what part of my body is not, like, working when I'm doing like a certain drill or whatnot. So I try to, right. like, analyze my like pr like pre-analyze myself, yeah, like on a video, and then try to do it on the uh, try to the next time I go, I try to implement it on the next go so around. You, so, so when you do that, uh, so that, mm -hmm. that's a great point, and why people, I don't think people realize for those of us that are trying to improve mm -hmm. our skills we're recording to do analysis right mm -hmm. uh do you want you when you go to the range do you kind of have a set uh agenda in your head or you write it down or like do you know what you're planning to do because i know you see like to flow with it but do you kind of have like a baseline of right let me make sure i do this drill minimum work on these things i'm trying to correct or adjust or improve on. yeah i do um so so the what i what i'm trying to do now is mostly just do like uh like I always try to start off with doubles first, and okay. then work with Mozambique and whatnot, and then go into the build drill, and whatnot, and then work on the 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 mismatch like the mismatch round cut like the reload and whatnot yeah. like I mentioned before and yeah. whatnot. So I kind of finish off with that, and then if I have extra time or extra ammo, I probably do like doubles and triples just to see, like just to still work on um pressure yeah. like hand like pressure, pressure and whatnot pressure, pressure, and. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then also like thumb placement and how my presentation is just to see where I'm at, like got the whole range time. Yeah. So yeah. I try I try not to stay in there too long because the range that I go to, it do get hot in there. Even if the fans do, they don't really do much, but I'll be right. sweating bullets in that range. So yeah. I try not, so I try to get in and out as much as fast as I can. I what, what, what range is this? Over is in, it, I know North in, uh, in Gun Gallery, over in Jacksonville, up here. Gun Gallery. Okay. Yeah, you know it's where air conditioning. Um, no, so like so that so the air conditioning is fine. It's just that like it's 
like it's just like some it's like humidity in yeah. there and they got two fans on both corners like as soon as you walk in and then there's one by the far by the uh emergency exit or whatnot yeah and there's it's like it's like it blows like more like in the middle instead uh -huh. of just like the whole area that makes sense so i gotta back off and get into the fan cool off for a minute and then get back in there that's such a florida thing <laughs> who you talking <laughs> So kind of kind of recap this, right? So mm -hmm. like all in agreement right now that a shot timer, because this is something I didn't say in the original when we were opening up this discussion. Mm -hmm. I th I believe that the shot timer is beneficial it, in this pistol growth. Mm -hmm. person. Uh, I think it helps with, with dry fire. It helps with live fire. Even if you're indoors, I don't. I've never come across a range that said you can't use a shot timer even indoors. Uh, only you can't use a holster, obviously, yeah. but you can use a timer to start anything. Mm -hmm. And that's what I really, really like to use it for, not necessarily see what my clock status is, because a lot of times there's people shooting in their yeah. range. So it's going to pick up the shot timer. Yeah. Well, I just to start well, my engagement. It's the shot timer you have that does that. That's true. I am a peasant. If you if you want to elevate yourself, and it's a shameless plug, get the Shooter's Global one because you can actually set it up to not pick up other people's shots. I've actually done ranges, range time indoors mm. and configured it to not pick up someone right next to me. It'll only pick up my shots that are right there. Really? Because I, I, I like... So I cut like so with the pack time that I got, I normally just wait. Like if it, like if it's like like if it's like me by myself, it's all good. Yeah, but it's all like two or three, you if it's like two or three people, yeah. I try to wait until they get done, and, and then I, and like yeah, I try, try to get mine in before. You're waiting yeah. for your time, and that kind of mm -hmm. that kind of stinks. D and I have been to the range by ourselves at times. Yeah. Um, or we've had to do like a, a, a standards drill or something. We're trying to get a patch or whatever. Um, and yeah. we're like, can we get the range cold? And the ROs know us, so they kind of make it happen. And then people are kind of watching. But yeah, um, it's a little pricey. Um, mm -hmm. Gamage is in here. He can he can testify, which is not a, a, a joke with Gamage. He actually could testify that um, the Shooters Global has um, a couple features on it that you can set up. Um, it's, it's pricey. Brownells does sell a version of it. Um, but yeah, you can set up like a spy mode. It can do different sensitivities to the actual um, uh, sound reader that yeah. determines, you know, like like when I do dry fire, I can actually have it be sensitive to my trigger pull, um, and I, I can actually get hmm. clicks for that. Um, but yeah, they have a the, that's the big one is like the three hundred dollar one. There's also a, a smaller one, the SG Go. Yeah. Um, that is like a hundred bucks or so, and you can set that up too. And same thing, you can set it up to um have sensitivity so it only picks up your stuff you can tear an echo off it's got all this cool tech behind it. it's really really good um i had the packed club timer um i thought i lost it and then i gave it away when i found it but yeah. um it's a it's a solid one i love that one too yeah. so it's funny you say that because not a lot of people really go in the detail for the that was it the shooters global yeah. one you're talking about yeah like a lot of people like or should say gun tubers that have it and that use it they don't really go into detail at what all they can do they just mostly just show like like I guess the it does video like the connection to it like 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 you can show like like the screen that shows all the hit like the information on the screen yeah like, you know what I mean like it only shows that but they don't really go like what all it can actually do yeah it's yeah. got it's got a ton of features in it um I I at first put it down because it was overwhelming but as I've taken time to learn more about it it's it's really robust there's a lot of preset drills in there mm -hmm. you can if you're a competition guy you could kind of set up stages. Um, it does a lot. It does a whole lot. Um, people post their own drills, and you can just copy their drill settings and then try to run it. Um, yeah. If it's dry fire, live fire, um, you can save things. What's, what is one of the coolest things, it's the smallest feature, and I'm going to stop selling this thing because I don't got to code with them or nothing, so there's no benefit to me. But just hooking everybody up on some information. Yeah. It logs all your activity. So if you're like, when's the last time I dry fired? Which would be a very terrible question to ask yourself. It should be yesterday. But if you're yeah. not sure how often you dry fire, it actually logs it on a calendar. And you can be like, oh, how did I do last month? Let me look at the drills I did. Really? And it'll kind of give you an idea. To tr yeah, oh, it, it tracks it all, man. It's oh. super cool. I was just doing it last night with um, reloads because Gamut was showing me how amazing he is at reloads. And I watched how shitty I am at reloads. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's really cool. It's really cool because the way the, the camera thing works, and then I'm going to stop talking about this damn thing because that's a topic for it. Um, so you can, use the, you can use the shot timer in hand mm -hmm. and just run it and have it pick up stuff, right? If you want to use it as an assistant, what you do is you set up the timer just somewhere stationary, 
you use the the app on your phone to kind of configure it and then it yeah. makes the device beep and then it will pick up everything on the device as a sensor and all the times and it displays it on the screen but you can use them independent you don't have to use your phone all the time you can use the timer by yourself um the thing it comes with is magnetic so you clip it on your belt and then you can hang it up and mm -hmm. it, it'll be magnetic to just about anything so it's okay. real that and that's the big one but yeah um i think it's well worth the investment um if gamma had a code i tell him to plug it but i don't think he does um but i'm sure there's some codes out there on the internet that you can find to save on it but if you're if you have to yeah. do indoor training that is really helpful to still use your timer and not even have to worry about anybody else affecting it but um props to you man for doing the timer not a lot of people do that and you can yeah. tell when you go to the range and people hear the beep like what's that all about and you're like mm, it's, it's, it's let me, funny because one of the guys that work at the range i was at he's like he's like like He's like, uh, you got a short time? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh, it's like, so that's your back there. All them beefs and stuff keep here. I'm like, yeah, that was me. I mean, I know it's by myself, but my fault. I wasn't sure if it was a, a issue or not, but it's like, oh, no. Like, I just keep hearing all these beeps like every five minutes. Yeah. Like, yeah. My fault. It's not smoke detector, right, <laughs> D? It, it, it is too. Because <laughs> there's always, there's always a good and bad with all things, right? Um, I know I was definitely, because I'm a, I'm a shop timer or Scott. Yeah, no, he's yeah, he's a, yeah. He's a slut to a lot of things, and it just means he likes it. He just I, likes things and thinks he's a slut. He's a guacamole slut. He's a pasta slut. He's a, right. he's, a he's just he did, he's a dictionary slut. He doesn't have a lot of words. What the heck? It's either spicy or I'm a slut for it. You know, um, <laughs> that don't make no sense. That makes that does not no make any sense. sense. Oh. That no, makes I, no I, sense. I love you. You're gonna see this later. I love you. Oh my um, god. I I would say this too. When it comes to the uh, the shot timer, um, I was definitely exposed on it when we did the training with KD a couple uh, last year, a year and oh, a half. It's been a couple of years. Yeah, now. a couple of years ago, um, he had the shot timer for us, and uh, he he was also doing commands. So he mixed the shot timer with the commands yeah and if you had the command to fire you were supposed to fire if you hit the shot timer you're supposed to shot timer i was so used to doing the shot timer that i didn't pay attention to the command so yeah i i actually froze like uh i i just <laughs> my brain like just was like what am i doing? and a brain fart yeah yeah so, he'd say threat and we're like what yeah where yeah, yeah. he was using the word threat and literally didn't even engage yeah. And he, it happens. All of you guys would have been dead. I yelled out threat. Nobody, you know what I mean? So that's how it be. Uh, it is, dude. That, so that's so, how it be. You know, train with the shot timer, but I also think that it's good to, it, it's still good to train without it as yeah. well. Um, it's good to train visualization. Um, so if you can mix the shot timer in with visualization with audio cues, mm -hmm. you know, like, all of those into your training and it'll give you like a, a, a nice um, um, overarching, I guess. Yeah, I got you it. So my last I question, say, like the one, I have a last yeah. question for you about your training and then we'll get to the, the fun question. Mm -hmm. So start thinking about the Olympics. Um, do you do you have the opportunity to go with another person to the range, you know, usually, or do you normally go by yourself? Because I, I have a follow up. Uh, normally, if it's during the week, I'm, I'm mostly okay. by myself if it's during the week. But, like, on a weekend, probably, like, two or three of us will probably go. Okay. But it's been a while. But I'm mostly solo. Okay. Like, at my local going range or whatnot so, by myself. So what I, I – I was actually looking at this a couple uh, days ago, some footage. Um, one uh, – last year, uh, we did a range day. And typically, if you've seen all the videos, guys that do competition, whatever, they're used mm -hmm. to the, the cadence of shooter ready, stand by, and then there's a beep. And there are mm -hmm. a lot of guys, and I've, I've, I've met a couple of them, they're, they hear the, the ready, stand by, and they get ready to jump the beep because they're used to how quick that is. Well, at this range day, I told the guys, I said, listen, when you come up to the line, I'm running the day, um, and Gamage and, and D were there. Mm -hmm. I said, um, we're just going to have a conversation. And I'm going to hit this timer. And whenever the beep goes, you go. So I'm not going to say, are you ready? Stand by. Because, yeah. you know, we're, we're practicing to run on yeah. command. And I'm not going to say threat because I don't want to throw out the word in the middle of the conversation and really confuse you. So we'll have the beep to make you run plus the timer and all that. Um, and so, you know, a couple of guys was like, oh, yo, did you get that trigger? Like, oh, yeah, man. And he like, was like showing it to me. I went, beep. He's like, oh, oh, was it ready? For, you know. Yeah. And then yeah. he, 
D was yeah, like, uh, of, I'm not listening to a word you're saying. No. I'm zoning. I'm tuning you out. Yeah. And I was like, well, well, how did you think you did last drill? And then I got him to talk a little bit, and then I hit the buzzer, and he's like, oh, you. But that was an, a fun way to still use a timer, mm -hmm. but not prep people. Yeah. And that was another dynamic. So if you're with your buddies, maybe try that. Just say, hey, when I'm standing here, I'm ready to go. Let them know. I'm ready no matter what. And then just, just start riffing, talking about something you're, you know, what you're into. Yeah. And then maybe just when the buzzer goes off, you know, yeah. then there's yeah, so it's work. more So it's more of a, like a stimulus, basically, right? Yeah. Almost. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, I never, well, I thought about it, but I never really had people to try it with or even go to the range even try it sure. myself so sure. but I, but don't remember but i've thought about like that type of training because like it's more of a stimulus to where, like if stuff pops off you never know when it's going to yeah, happen yeah. and when it happens it happens yeah usually the yeah. word is gun or you hear you know yeah. uh yeah. pops you know, yeah. gunshots and you're like you know what's going on yeah exactly. but that's that's dope that's dope way, um okay way way back years years many years ago uh gamage and i did the two-man training where I had to go off of what Gamage saw because my back was to a threat. Mm -hmm. So you'll see those videos. That was one of the funnest times that uh, I've had. I had a ton of fun times, but that was a really cool one because it was different. There was no timer. It was just Gamage went when he went, and I went yeah, when you, I went. And he responded. We, yeah, the, yeah. yeah. So he responded to him. We had to respond. So if he peeled off to the right, I had to roll off to the left. If he decided he wanted to go this way, I had to roll that way. So yep. it, it was Damn. I there was no there was no way to game it. There was no way to know where he was gonna do. I had to react off of mm -hmm. him. And that laying down suppressive fire, I'm joining the mm -hmm. game as quick mm -hmm. as I can, as safe as I can. But he's my partner. So yeah. I can't just deploy my gun out and turn on him while he's turning. I had to know what you know what I mean? I had to like, know. It sounds yeah, like so we you need a read, like, range day. You gotta read it sounds like we need a range day soon. Hey, we do need a range day. I think that <laughs> and you just need to make the trip down from Jacksonville. I've made the drive before. Now going to Ruskin, you have to tack it on another hour or so, which sucks. But yeah. you know. If yeah. it involves running, I still haven't, I haven't been clear for that yet. No. That was a good drive. Okay. Uh, no, nah, not yet. I mean I'm trying to like I'm trying to get into like in the like running but it's it's gonna be a minute until i'm actually like, able to like run like y'all boys do all right we can we can improvise for sure that's all i do i build drill and i stay indoors bs <laughs> you, you're so full of it yeah, man he's full of himself all right so <laughs> olympics olympics yeah. uh what would be a, a, your event if you were to get into the olympics i ain't gonna hold you i, I won't even know because i haven't watched it <laughs> I have not been watching the Olympics, man. Like I saw, I, I can't. I can't even. I can't even. Remember, I, can't even remember, I can't even remember like all the events that they have. I know they got besides basketball and freaking uh, the gymnast stuff. Um, but they even got the freaking. Uh, they got swim. What's the, like they 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 still got that sled that was a that that bobsled thing still like is, that's, is that sort of thing. That, that's that's Winter Olympics, but yes, uh -huh. there is an option. We're we're going for Summer Olympics. Uh -huh. Sorry, I didn't mean to put you on that. If I was still running, I'll probably be track and field. If I was still, if I was still able to run, okay. Like, there's a, there's a, there's a whole field. I got a whole uh, list in front of me, but there's a bunch. But I'll take it. Probably, probably like the two hundred, maybe. Hmm. Okay. The two hundred. All right. Yeah, battle Lyles. So. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know about all that now. <laughs> no, 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 no. We not bad in no no Lyles. No Lyles on another level. Right. The UVA. Any dude that comes out with the UEO card set, that ain't the UEO, the UEO card set. Oh my run. God. What the hell? I'm going to show up to the, the UEO card set. The card set. No. Nah. That's wild. That's wild. Nah. Y'all got it. Yes. Y'all boys I got appreciate it. appreciate you, man. Thanks for dialing in and uh, letting us know oh. what you're doing. Yep. Just be for sure, man. Um, to be honest, like I, I, was, I wasn't even expecting like, to get picked up, honestly. No. Oh. Like, I thought that, uh, that, oh. that, that you guys would have like a, like, like a lineup already. Prepped up or whatnot. Hey, we do what I selected, and that was it. You jumped in and gave us. Yeah, yeah it's random, man. Yep. Hey, I appreciate it. I appreciate Thank you, man. And Thank you for tuning in. For sure, man. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's see here. We got somebody next yep. in line. Yep. See if it actually took it. Sure, sure. That was good information man um i forgot to even talk about a, a shot timer well, on indoor rain 
Yeah, I think we can talk about shot timers more in depth later. But yeah, um, do you do you know? So I, I was curious because you mentioned gymnastics. I I, I was going to ask you: Did you do the little rhythmic stuff with a little the dance? The hey, oh, the, the hey, rip- hey girl, hey that, flag. That wasn't <laughs> male. That's not the male gymnast. Hey, uh, I've seen Will Ferrell do it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's cool. And so the things that I competed on was uh, floor. What did I say? Floor. Or pommel horse, parallel bars, high bar, vault. Uh, parallel bars. Oof. Yeah. Wow. That was it. All right, we're getting a we're getting a Blair Witch action now. He's talking all that. He's not looking at him. He's like, man, I don't want to wait. What to do? What, what up? What up? What up? <laughs> what y'all talking about? Olympic Games or what? Olympic Games. Well, before we get into the Olympic Games, we were talking about range prep and indoor drills what is your go-to indoor drills when you are doing uh any kind of indoor work uh, i would say uh one r ones uh usually that little reload drill that they have at uh west yeah which I is think. two and then reload within like 30 seconds or something like that okay that's a good one to usually do is that mm-hmm. the one where the, the lights are flickering too because they no. got Uh, it just it it, it gives you like five seconds and then the target spins and then you do two rounds reload two rounds and then it spins again when the time so you have like a part time on it yeah yeah yeah. Mm. that's right that's right that's right i haven't done that one in a long time that is a good one though uh yeah Yeah. i haven't done that one in a long time i did that the first time i was there and i never did it again it's you're right because it shows the face first right no it, it goes it goes sideways and then it turns and then you draw i usually draw you draw and then two on target and then reload and then another two and then it turns again oh, so there's a time on four turns yeah, it's a part time I mean, you got to do it within the amount of time oh, and i oh, usually I, I usually draw i usually come out of concealment yeah gosh i thought it was you you shoot and then it turns you wait for it to turn it got it goes it goes i think it goes sideways or backwards and then once it gets to where it needs to stop it turns i think it's like five yards or something uh and then it turns and then you draw two reload two and then it spins but if you don't get it if you don't get the reload then you know we got to keep working at it you know (laughs) i I did not know it had that one that's that's my favorite one i think that's the best one that they have on there. I haven't really messed too much with it. Now that I go on, whenever I do go to West, I usually I'm doing like, uh, just like, like uh, checking, check, checking for, um, like when I build a gun, I yes. go there, I it's test it. Dot and it is, yeah. Do like a 10 yard zero, 15 yard zero, that's, stuff like that. Usually I get them in the house when I go. That's actually a great statement too. I, I didn't mention that in mine at all. Like as as far as kind of the indoor drills goes, I love indoor ranges to sight in and dial in my dial. I don't yeah. like to be sure. I might yeah, be you can't get it. I mean you'd rather be outside. Yeah, man. You have to be outside and they see. It's so bright outside and my dot is red and I'm like, man. Yeah, 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 for sure. Down and go check my hits and now i got yeah 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 whenever i do like a 50 yard zero i do it here in my house yeah. and it's like i gotta get in the buggy or haul ass down there try <laughs> yeah. to get some, get some sprints you know yeah. but uh yeah so and it's hot it's that's, the heat. A good, that's a good statement man use the indoor drills yeah. to, to yeah, dude. big time that's all and, and just practice and draw doing practice in the draw you know slow you know, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. So, yeah. and stuff like that, that's usually what I work on. Yeah, man. And I, you know, I can't speak on the behalf of, uh, of every range in the United States, but I, I do wish that more would allow concealed work because I feel like a lot of people, because there's a lot of concealed carriers, but there's a lot of concealed carriers that don't get to practice concealed carrying properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, or they, when they get to go to the range, they don't want to do concealment. And and this is, again, I'm not knocking anybody, yeah. but I've seen people that will go to the range and come out with an OWB rig and 
they don't do competition. They don't have law enforcement. They just have this rig because they have a rig. And then they're there testing themselves with that. And th- th- there's some benefits there. You're testing your shooting skills, yeah. but you're not, you're, it's different. It's not the same as doing concealment work. So I, I, I would say if you go to the range in general, I would implore you to just do some concealment work. Even if it's not your favorite thing to do, do a little bit just to, you know, make sure you know what you're doing, what you're carrying, because it's being responsible. But uh, indoor range is great for that if they let you do it, man. There's a lot. I mean, you mentioned in the past four or five years, the number of gun owners has gone up so much, man, with all the various reasons, you know, political, economic, um, environmental. Uh, there's there's a lot of people that don't train. They they just get a gun, they get a holster, like we talked about last week, my holsters, and then they just, there it goes. And then when they go to the range, they're like, I want to shoot my rifle. I want to shoot yeah. my cool big gun because, you know, I don't do that. And it's like, because I can't do that at the places I go to. Well, also, you should practice yeah. what you go home with. I mean, obviously, concealment is probably the most practical thing you could do, too, you know. Like, I've seen videos and stuff where they're like, well, try not to telegraph, you know, when you're about to shoot, you know. You, everyone gets in their little stance and, you know, starts getting together to, to pull your shirt up and pull and draw and do all that stuff. But it's like completely telegraphing yeah. what you're about to do, you know. It's like you're... Getting in your fighter stance and looking around and stuff. So yeah. that's another thing, too, is, like, try not to be so obvious. Try to be a little bit more conspicuous and whatnot. Yeah. You know, that's another thing to train. Uh, the other thing I would like to be more interested is, like, practical stuff, like coming out of a vehicle and getting into your kit bag if you carry a gun in your truck. Like, yeah. you might as well practice how that happens because – Whenever it comes down to it, and if you ever that ever does happen, then it's like you're going to be fumbling all over. If we fumble whenever we're doing, you know, draws out of our holster, imagine when you're getting shot at or something's going down, you know, trying to get in the back of your truck and whatnot, get yeah. your kid. And so, like, we, I used to go to JTAC, and I'm preach on JTAC, RIP, JTAC is the greatest place ever. It was like shooter's heaven out there. But uh, they – do a lot more practical stuff and they would do like okay well they would have like the tennis bag and they would have cars out there that you would go to the trunk pull out your bag get into your kid uh you know and then that's why they preached a lot of uh chess rig stuff yeah. like you'd have out guys out there with like full loads you know full chest plate carrier and everything but then once we started running them and then try to implicate them into like real life stuff, then it was like, oh, maybe I don't need, you know, 20 pounds of gear. (laughs) And so then people started going more into like the chess rig stuff. Chess rigs are very adaptable nowadays too with all the stuff they have coming out. Like, I think it's maybe a little bit more viable if you are gonna go and do like something fast. Like I would probably carry a, a chess rig instead of a plate carrier in my truck, you know, right, right. something ever happened, then it's you just fun. jump in, strap it on and then go to town, still, you know, yeah. it's free, you know what I mean? Instead of like putting a hole. Yeah, that's exactly. And then people don't understand once you, Hey, once you put that thing, try to run with it. It's, so it's, all, it's not, you know, like, like if you're doing stuff from, you know, if you're taking cover, you know, the, the, yeah. a chest rig is, is better than a plate carrier in my opinion i don't have one but yeah there's a, there's a lot of different things that pros and cons to each um i've seen some people say that if there's bump in the night i'm not going to go throw that on i'm going to go grab the firearms because at least i know i have a, a way to move around and protect myself and having a plate carrier may not be as advantageous uh, like you mentioned it weighs down on you there's a lot of things to it but um that's i like that idea we, we um i say we squad drills the uh gamage, has a VTAC barricade, and we we bring that out every now and then, and we can shoot from different angles and, you know, different positions laying down, um, and we can see how my height is a bad thing because I can't see over the top of it, but then Dalton can. So, uh, sure. it, but it's, 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 it's oh, yeah. out. But, but hey, I can hit that window like a mofo, man. It's at eye level, and these guys got to bend over, so it's it's like perfect for me. But again, it's a, it's a cool way to em- employ different types of training um, but I like what you mentioned about um, West Armory and, and how they, you know, have different types of drills on the simulator. Yeah. I think that 
if your if your range doesn't have things like that, then I think you have to like just mentally game that. And if you have a shot timer, just when the timer goes off, just do two reload two, like you said, you know, and then see what your part time is. That drill is, I, I love it. I love that drill. It gets you into a rhythm. Yeah. Works your, you know, draws and everything. Maybe do a couple of, you know, slow draws first and then get into the drill. And it's it's very helpful. They have a lot of stuff there. People usually don't use them. They just, like you said, go they out there and just, no. you know, yeah. bang out. But dude, that stuff, it would actually, like, I, I haven't been too long into the whole gun thing, you know, for a very long time. Yeah. Uh, but... Yeah. After a year or two, it's like I got tired of, you know, just standing there and yeah, yeah. shooting and finally got into the holster thing. But then it's like, where do you go from there? But a lot of people take it for granted and they don't even know about a lot yeah. of those drills there at West. Island. I make a point it's like there's like all kinds of drills. People don't understand. Yeah. Oh, man, like also, for competitions, they have another one that is uh, it'll start like and it'll start going back every five yards. And I feel that that'll give you a good like indication of your height over bore like when you're yeah. shooting because it keeps going further so now you know when something's that far because i've done like small competitions and stuff like that and you don't realize it until you're like whoa it's like comes in like five <laughs> yards two yards and yeah. then going back out yeah. of 20 yards or whatnot you know? yeah yeah so, so, yeah, so you're, you're like what's going on levels, like, yeah. holy cow yeah, but I missed that, man. Dude, I didn't know. I didn't. I honestly did not know. I know that it had the automated features on there. I didn't know it had that many like. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. There's a lot. Man. Yeah. I'm gonna it's like yeah. when I go in there next time. I'm gonna play with it uh, and try to see. What, I like like to be the guy with the lights on. People think I'm weird. I put on the police <laughs> lights just just right. to add another level right, dude, to it. I love, love the police lights. When I be like, get on the pavement. <laughs> no, I, I I did it one time as a joke, and someone gave me a look. I shot. I I went like I said, the timer, the lights are going. I went beep. I like, bang, 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 bang. I said freeze. <laughs> <laughs> After the fact, that someone no. was like, "Are you no. law enforcement?" I'm like, "Oh heavens, no, definitely not. That won't go well." <laughs> but that police light one is crazy too, because it's dark, man, and all you see is a flicker of that blue and red. And if you have a red dot. I mean, it might affect you. Yeah, it's 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 cool to add different stimuli yeah. to it. So that's yeah. good, man. That's good. That so we were sense. talking about um, Olympics. Yeah. So if you were to be in the Olympics right now, what event do you think you would get into? Do you uh, need some probably suggestions. Tri I can give you some. Triathlon, because uh, I'm Mexican and I can jump fences, run. <laughs> I can't swim, but I can hide. <laughs> so hide and seek, king of the hide and seek. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh man, I love it. <laughs> no, I, wanna, I don't know. Whenever, if if you guys ever get a chance or something, I I know I spoke to D about it before at the shop, yeah. but uh, I'm working on doing a range here at my place, and maybe we can, you know, maybe get a little bit more creative and yeah. some more practical stuff. Like the the thing. Also, it's nice to be in the AC, but. You know, if something ever does no, happen, move, if you ever get into that uh, other side of being prepared, you know, then getting used to the elements and stuff like that. And like you were saying, like, oh, well, you know, we don't have an elevated heart rate, but that does make that's a major factor once you start oh, yeah. really cleaning. That's a huge factor. And it helps. It helps a lot. It makes you oh, way yeah. better. Shooter. Yeah. You know, if you're a good shooter already, Getting into that sort of stuff, running and gunning and stuff, that's, it just makes you way better. You're going to be way better because you already have all the fundamentals down from all the stuff you guys do. Now, applying it and learning how to you know, move and shoot and stuff like that, that that's just going to make you a, a more complete shooter prepared person or whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, but, let's, uh, af after this or maybe sometime tomorrow, start a, uh, start a group chat with me and D, and yeah. let's, uh, let's sync up because – we're trying to find places, and I think you're in the same county as us, if I'm not mistaken. Same county as yeah, West Armour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to, you know. I'm like a, a skip throwing away from a West okay. Armory. Yeah. yeah. I know we always, and we always run into each other on yeah, those yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, let's, like let's, let's, let's clock. hey, I'm, I'm big on, uh, I'm, I'm taking some, some learnings from uh, Pastor Gamage to say, yes, let's, let's figure it out. And let's see what we can do. Um, yeah. I'm always looking for ways to not have to go to an official place and pay a fee and 
have a bunch of rules because we're safe and we can vet one another and yeah. I've got some medical and he's got medical. So yeah, let's, let's do it, man. Let's make some time. Um, and you're, you're close to us. It makes it even easier. Okay. So, um, I'm down, man. I'm down because yeah, sure. some sure. of the things we've yeah. done, we've done some things like bring a jump rope and just do jump rope until we hit the buzzer. And, and I made D jump the longest yeah. because I knew he can handle it. <laughs> Damage in the throat for bringing that weighted jump rope. Is weighted jump rope. We did forty <laughs> yard sprints from the target down to the line, turn and shoot a shot, and that was in the middle of the rain. I mean, we'll we'll figure out ways to elevate the heart rate and and make things difficult. I was, if you haven't had a chance to look it up, I'll try to find a link to it. I'll send it to you later. Um, I love watching YouTube YouTuber stuff all the time more than TV. Um, there was a, a shooting competition for a while that Coleon Noir was in, and one of the, the activities was it was a team event. And I don't know if we're going to do this. I kind of want to, where they had uh, tubs of ice water, and one person had their hands sunk in that ice water, and it's freezing. Like, your hands are shivering, and the other guy has to execute a course of fire. And then when he's done, you take your hands out of the water, grab your gun, load it, and do it. And that other guy has to put his hands in the water, and you do it a couple times, and you move back, and it's just adding another variable that might mess you up. Your hands are slippery. So some of you guys that chalk up all the time LeBron James style, that'll mess with you a little bit. But also <laughs> – it's adding that, you know, adrenaline of having your hands cold and shivering and can you keep a shot steady yeah. at different distances. So we can we can play around. We're always looking to try things. It's just some public ranges don't let you do that. And Dean and I started on private property in the first place. So we True. can uh we can go back to that those roots if we need to. Yeah. Yeah, and then also uh distance. I got maybe about two hundred yards <laughs> and then the other side uh, is about 130 yards, probably. So at least 100. We can make a firing line at 100, and then we can do the other one maybe 200, maybe 150. That way we can have, you know, air, uh, space to park and whatnot. Yeah, yeah I really want to stretch it out. I got a scaffold I want to set oh, up. Right from wow. <laughs> So then we can do like three hundred yards. <laughs> hey, hey, let's uh, let's let's talk for real. Let's yeah. let's talk. I know I know D and I are always looking for options, yeah, so he, let's make it happen. He's been telling me this every time. Like I said, we the first I'm hearing about it, you are a jerk hey. for not sharing this. Oh my god, I, I've been so busy, man. I'm this so sorry. But guy I, is such a dick. I, I have the range here, and it's like I hardly ever get time to shoot as well. Yeah. Like it's been, I've been getting more dirt and more dirt. People bringing me more dirt, so I've been sort of uh rearranging things and and trying to set things up and stuff but yeah. uh we could yeah. probably still run something whenever you guys get a chance or whatever no but, i respect yeah. that josh and i could definitely help wherever you need help yeah at, we'll, so. we'll put yeah in the sled yeah. equity for sure yeah oh yeah all yeah. right yeah, let's link up hey, you let's go. uh thank you for all that feedback and the types of different drills uh that's really dope i didn't know that now i know and now i want to go check it out yeah dude yeah, they're they're really good. I'll do that. Dope, right. man. We'll, we'll be in touch. All right, check it out. All right, later, man. Have a good night. All right, All right I got one more person. How did you not tell me this? I, dude, I've been. I'm so. I'm gonna cut you. I'm, so I'm gonna cut you with this tiny. We got one more. We got one more caller. We're gonna bring in, and we'll wrap it up because it is late. Um, yeah, we got a late start, but we're still gonna do our hour and a half. We might change the date, y'all, to uh, to a different date so that we can stay at that eight thirty marker. It seems like the for a second fire. I thought I was talking to Bane. Is all darkness for a moment. <laughs> you know what? What up, dude? What's going on? No, what's going on? What the? What is going? On? Oh, okay, I'm not used to this card. So, welcome to the show. I know you've been a uh, you've been uh, tapping in through a couple of sessions. This time, the topic is uh range day prep and indoor drills what is your go-to indoor drill and uh for your range day prep do you bring paperwork do you bring targets like what do you what do you normally do so so typically i'll bring targets but i'll bring either the modern samurai project targets or like i don't know if you've seen the reels with like me and uh travis We'll do cardboard. We'll take the cardboard from uh, mm -hmm. like Amazon packages and stuff, and you build the small, oh, small you, little targets to shoot. You cut those? I see. Yeah, we cut them, or Travis cuts okay. them, 
and uh, or we'll also do the playing cards. Like me and him like to have fun, practice coming out the holster at twenty five yards with playing cards. Playing cards, twenty five yards. Okay, look at you. <laughs> yeah, that and then of course you know, like you said, the paper drills. I love my bill drills, but from doing the modern samurai project uh red dot instructor class and everything i love his three and two drill and then just all his standards so what's the three running and standards two? i've never heard of that so at three uh, at three yards you draw from the holster three to the body two to the head the little eight uh it's a zone box in the head small, it's a small box not the full yeah it's like a three like a little part uh, right and that's yeah. yep. side size box here. Hey. And you got to do that in three seconds or less. Three seconds or less, draw five. That's, that's tight. That's tight. Yeah. <laughs> You're thinking your like three it's... yards, that's easy. But then you can you, you can throw that head shot so quick. You over yeah. you overdo it, and then you're not doing side over board. There's a lot of variables. I mean, that's why he has it, right? There's a lot of variables. So that's a good drill. I need to get his targets. Are they, you have to buy them, or can you download them? No, you got to buy them because they're all, like, full-on size okay. pieces of paper. Gotcha. But I've, I've been using his targets, but lately I've been getting uh, – or I have one, and I have a couple more coming of the uh, – Damn it. Why am I infinity defense targets? Oh yeah, yeah, those are dope. We have a couple of those. Yeah, those are the re the repairable ones. The ones you spray paint. Yeah. yeah. Spray paint over them. Yeah. yeah, I love yeah, those things. Dope. Super dope. And they show hits easy too. Yeah, just don't do what I did testing it out when they sent it to me for a review and start shooting it with hollow points. Uh, it, it doesn't like hollow points. Not to use hollow points. Dude. Yeah, that's for the people that are smart like y'all and actually look at that stuff, I didn't. Instructions, yeah. they got out the door. <laughs> I don't even read instructions when I get a new gun. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Why am I going to read instructions for a target? Ain't got no gas. That's right. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I mean, I get it. I just start running. Why not? Hey. Man, I, that is dope. That is dope. That cool. Yeah. Nice. But, nice. I thought, nice. I, is that not the same? Mozambique drill? Oh, no. It's oh, not. Mozambique drill. So, no, the Mozambique is typically two to the body, yeah. one to the head. But as long as you get one somewhere in the head, it's normally counted as a good one. The way this one is set up, the three and two, is where that playing card is, you're hitting them right between from the eye to the eye yeah, to the nose. So, it's that T box zone, basically. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's even tighter. That's no, that's spicy. no. Those those head boxes are are tight. Gamage and I have done a couple. Uh, I I forgot who it was, um, but we tried to do a drill, and it was five five reload two two um, to the head box the, the or the A zone and yeah those those are tight those are tight shots you gotta you gotta hit I've hit the head shots I haven't done it for time because you gotta slow that down but you're talking a, a close drill for speed. And at three yards, you're not doing but level two confirmation. What? You know, you're just you're looking for a flash, and then you're trying to throw that dot at the head quick. Well, I, I feel like kind of. So it's one of those things of when I even when I teach like the red dot classes, I tell everybody, no matter how much I teach them, how much they think they learn from me, you definitely should do a modern samurai project class because not only is it the speed, but you're looking for that accuracy. So even no, it's close. You want the speed and the accuracy, yeah. so it's learning the balance both yeah. of them. And then, and then trusting your your side over board. You know, all those fundamentals come into play. Yeah, because I mean, I've been I've been known to throw a shot and moving up when you're zippering up somebody like that. But yeah, that's a that's right. a tight drip. Yeah, it's like guilty. It happens. But yeah. So you took yeah. Scott's class, huh? Yeah. How were, I'm actually planning on doing another one this was year. Was it as intense as it looks? Yeah, he tells you bring seven, eight hundred rounds. Ooh. Plan on taking that because you're going to go through Ooh. it. You feel good afterwards. I know you do. Bru feel good, but like literally, I'm going to say by the time we hit lunch on the first day, I had already felt like I got my money's worth. I, I was nice. going to say, you probably feel really good with that. I guess that's, it was. That's, oh, that's oh, yeah. Man. 
I love that you can share that. That is good to hear because you, you know you, there are a lot of really good instructors out there, and you, some you know you don't get the opportunity to meet somebody who's taken one of their classes. Um, I mean, actually, you, yeah. you do, but you don't get the feedback. You just say like, "Oh yeah, I took the class," but you can. Yeah, like even if you can't get in the class directly with him teaching, like the guy Gil, the guy uh, Hunter, all yeah. of them are excellent. Yeah, yeah. That's cool though. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I'm, gonna throw, I'm gonna have to throw that one into my mix. Um, I I don't normally. I just do the two of the body now, one of the head. You gotta <laughs> add another round now, because like you were talking earlier, how you try to you get used to doubles, and then we say, well, now let's do triples because add one more extra round, and that yeah. really affects your cadence and your predictability. So now, your my challenge to you, besides stop hiding people's range opportunities for us, you dickhead, <laughs> is to do the three two i'm gonna do the three two i'm assuming i can use as a standard you know standard a zone target and just you know go yeah yeah i don't have to use his target for that necessarily i know his target has a lot more um functions and drills on it because I've, I've watched a lot of videos about it but yeah d let's uh let's do some three twos yeah three, I'm three, down for three that. two I, zone i do uh, uh, i do not his but I, I have a modified one where i just do my own drill on my own time is i do three to the head box on that three by five card and one to the body not ideal because i mean you just shot some not What's the body, body shot that. that's excessive not ideal because you just put three in the t-box jared i'm telling um, you man he's i don't understand his logic yeah. Bro. Don't no, no don't listen to him. We don't no. want three to the head box that, 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 and one to the what box. What that looks like is three to the head. The guy is down and he just one more extra just because he's pissed off. It, it's yeah. just it's yeah. just you know it's just tight. Just training, right? Just tra training, right? right? And then you go back to your training, and <laughs> you know, and then like that situation, you're gonna fall back yeah. to your training. So I got a question: Who pissed in your cheerios? Nobody, man. I just want to see how fast I can produce. Mm. Okay, that's what we call it. If okay. I have to produce a charge, I just hang out with my, my larping buddies. Uh, all right. Okay. Yeah, see, this yeah. guy's weird, man. We I don't know why that. I've been hanging out with him for so long. I need, I need new friends. <laughs> but, like, the one drill he said that I actually like and I really, me and Travis have done it and I've done it. Like, you said the, the two pieces of paper yeah. side by side where yeah. we do the cardboard. I like. The card I do, of course, because we have cardboard. Yeah. Do the cardboard, yeah. but it, there's something about that practicing at further distances with smaller yep. targets. You know the whole saying: aim small, miss small. So I know if I can hit those at further distances, I know I can hit anything yeah. up close yeah. where I want. And right for me, when I do that, when I do the side by side, like I'll take again, I'll take these, I'll take a piece of paper out of here, rip two of them, put them side by side. And I, my goal when I do that is as I keep increasing the distance, I'm still trying to maintain the same speed. So that's the challenging part for me. Because as you start getting up to that 10 to 15 yards and you're trying to do the same speed that you were doing at three yards, whew, it gets yeah. interesting, you know? Because you well at three yards. Like I set my tone at three yards. Okay. okay now I got to maintain this. There you go, Darius. Which is which is which is hard to do though. Huh? It's hard to do that because you know at at further distances you need to have a longer confirmation for a you know a viable shot. So that's that's tough to do. But that also tells you if your side over board is correct, if you're overcorrecting, because you know when you do a side by side up close, your speed for transition is quick. Yeah. And then that speed, that transition speed is might take longer because you want to confirm going back and forth, even though you're saying you're trying to push it. So I like yeah. that. I like that you're trying to instill short distance tactics at further distances. And then you know that you can ramp down if you need to. That's, right. that's cool. It's, it's one, it's like when we talk about going to the gym, it's, it's finding your PR and then scaling down yeah. so that you can find something sustainable and then getting back to your PR and pushing that up PR yeah. and being personal record yeah. um, for those that don't do yeah. that. Yeah. No. One, one of the other things I'll say I like to do at the range, which is part of my background as a paramedic come, that comes into play, because you know you can't always have the targets that you really like. Yeah. So even getting the bigger silhouette targets, I envision all the major organs inside the human body on that target, and I just aim strictly for 
heart and lungs. Yeah. I, you know, what's funny is I actually do the same thing. They have one of those targets at um, West Armory where it has the organs. But have, yeah, like the skeleton yeah, with the organs. It has the hitbox too, and I will actually shoot those organs locations, which is outside the hitbox area. So they'll have like the box. But that's why you throw Charlie. Yeah. That's your excuse. Yeah, <laughs> of course, man. I was looking for the organs. I wasn't hitting out. <laughs> well, like the reason I tell people, like even with the hit boxes on the uh, targets, I'm not always worried about the hit boxes. But if I can look and see you hit the heart, the lungs, I'm happy because a person ain't gonna keep running after you or chasing you or trying to do anything if they can't breathe because you took out yes. the lungs. Just like the hip lungs. Yep. Yeah. Nobody's gonna run after you or chase you down if their heart ain't pumping because they ain't got yep. blood moving through their body. Take out the heart. Yep. Yeah. It sounds barbaric as hell, but I mean it's, it's the truth. It's, it's how it has to be. Hey, hey, I just went into the store to get some Skittles. I didn't. That was the hand I was dealt. So barbaric as it sounds, I was dealt that hand. But why did you put a three in the head? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so same question. Yeah, why is there three in the head and only one in the body? I'm outside, and I was like, it's time to turn the lights off. Inside, uh, <laughs> Your Honor. Yeah, my client, my client. he's not wrong, my, Your Honor. My client is ADHD. I don't know if that counts for anything, Your Honor, but he's got problems. We want to play temporary insanity. <laughs> he changes in the G's games. <laughs> That's the comment of the night. I like that. Uh, I like yes. that. Now so Jared, I'm gonna uh, to... uh, so the the, I'm gonna to... the Olympics are happening. Um, what what's your Olympic sport of choice if you're gonna get in there, do some work? For what I've done as an extracurricular, pretty much my whole life, is either gonna be judo or taekwondo. It's got to be martial yeah. arts. Dope. I like that. I actually forgot that was an Olympic sport till I saw you typed it, and I was like, oh, I think that is. It is an you Olympic know, sport. You, know you want to be jumping go, around and bouncing. Go sit in the corner. So. Games, go sit in the corner. You forgot that was an Olympic sport. You're fired. Go sit in the hey, corner. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, trampoline <laughs> is an Olympic sport, too, guys. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. I'm looking, I'm looking it up. It is. He's not wrong. <laughs> it is. But it, but it is also an Olympic sport under table tennis, taekwondo, and tennis. So you're not in a lot of good company there. <laughs> trampoline. Look, look at my man. He's like rubbing his head like, wait, what? Yeah, man, trampoline. Synchronized trampoline. <laughs> okay, they, they didn't say synchronized <laughs> trampoline. on a trampoline together is this an Olympic sport. What kind of hoity toity ass <laughs> life are we living? <laughs> don't, don't get me started. Don't get me started. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Hey, get me started. Guys, guys, we gotta stay focused. Stay focused. Oh my There's god! People with many talents, and those talents need a, a place to be applied. And if that's where you can apply your skill set, so be it. Stop! 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 You're not Mr. Roger in this damn show, <laughs> neighbor. Uh, I, I mean, the polo on. cereals are promoted as a as a cereal, but they're good for teaching little boys to use the bathroom it's properly. True. true, my son learned that way. <laughs> I need to teach my daughter, and I don't think we're going to work with that one. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't think that's going to work no. with a little girl, but it works good with boys. No. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still working on my aim. I need to get back to the Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going uh, I want to uh, wrap this up for tonight because it is late for a lot of people, but um, I do appreciate, or JW and I do appreciate you jumping in on the, the macro show. Talking about your uh, go-to drill that you like to do uh, with uh, modern samurai. So thanks for sharing, guys. Samurai drill. Um, check out the. I know that Gamage mentioned a drill as well. Um, yeah, which, I'm definitely going to try that, that drill out. A couple, a couple of the drills y'all mentioned. Yeah, yeah Mazzano. Yeah. Oh, which is the seven seven. I can't find it here. Real quick. Uh, yeah. So, uh, seven fourteen. You know what? Just go 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 to Gamage's page. He posted him accomplishing it recently. Yeah. So just go check yeah, out Gamage. He's a beast. Yeah, I was just gonna. I, I think it's still on my story of sharing it from him. So either yeah. way, anybody who taps in, I was just trying to list out some of the drills that were called out over the whole show. So you could just 
fast forward to the end and be like, oh, where are all the drills? They got the cliff notes at the end. I just want to know. Um, yeah. Mozambique drill is one go to. Um, Mazano drill, uh, samurai, modern samurai drill. Um, if you're in the West Armory area, they have digital uh, drills built into their computer system. Those are pretty cool. Check those out. Um, build drills is a go-to for some. Uh, having your paper side by side and transitioning indoors is is a good drill. Um, reloads, and then, reloads, two reload two, one reloads. reload one. Two R twos, one R ones, um, three R ones, or one R ones. Just change up your reload and how many you have in your magazine. Um, so there's a ton of different things you can do indoors, guys. That's kind of the summary of today's discussion. Um, tap into anybody that you uh, saw talk today. Reach out to any of us if you have a question about a drill or if you have another cool drill you want to share with us and you want us to try out. We're all open. So that's all I got. Right, guys. Thank you, Jeremy. Appreciate yeah. it, your brother. Yeah. Man. No problem, bro. I'll be hitting y'all up this week because still got to get y'all on the uh, YouTube sure. channel. For sure, man. Fireman drill, pray and spray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> my gosh. Uh, All right, Fireman. We're going to try that one. Catch a charge with D. Doing three to the head. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the drill name? <laughs> Catch a charge. Catch a charge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 You know what? Go ahead, D. Go ahead, coin that one. That's the that's it. That one, catch a charge drill. What is drill we're doing today to catch a charge drill? That's horrible. Yeah, that's <laughs> what you're doing. Catch a charge drill. Three to the body, one to the head. Three to the head, one to the body. Gamage. The Hemi. Yeah. Gam Gamage got a drill he's coming out with soon. Hemi Hendrix. Oh, we, we got the squad drills, triple banger drill. It's in all of the squad drills guys' bio. Um, if you click into their bio, it has that that drill is in there as well um it's meant for yeah. outdoor but you can use it for indoor with the modification of time um yeah check that out that's, that's uh, a tough one too i'm not going to say it don't work on the indoors me and travis have yeah. done it indoors I, i'm coming to get my patch and damage i want my i want my patch. hendrix patches is, is fire uh anybody else that typed in anything else nope 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 i think that's pretty much it summarized it's good man yeah it's another good one so we'll wrap it up. Thank yeah. you again, guys. Hey, thank you for jumping in and chit-chatting with us, uh, hanging out, sharing some jokes here and there. And um, we just coined a new drill today. So I'm going to set it up and run it. <laughs> yes. Adios, fellas. Have a good Have one, guys. Night. We'll see you next week. Yes, yes. Oh, actually, we're going to skip next week because school starts for a lot of people. Uh, so we're going to skip this uh, session for next week, and we'll pick up the following. Ooh. All right. All right. All right. Y all, y all well, either way, I'll be here in the comments. So you guys right, take yeah. it easy. See you. Bye. Later.